So the TubeBuddy mobile app is finally here. I'm gonna show you how you can use it to get more views and subscribers on your channel. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, anytime I do a video that features TubeBuddy, anytime I'm live or anything like that, people always ask me, hey, does TubeBuddy have a mobile app? Up until today, the answer to that question used to be no, but now that it's here, I'm gonna show you how to use it. For that, we're gonna have to go to the phone. Let's go. Okay, the very first thing that you wanna make sure that you do is you wanna make sure that you have the app installed. So I have a link to it down in the description that you can click on and you can install the TubeBuddy app and you can follow along. Once you have it installed, click open. The very first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see that live subscriber count, which is awesome. Now you don't have to go to Social Blade or anything like that and order to get that live subscriber count. You can see it right here inside of TubeBuddy. Now, as I scroll down the page here, I see a bunch of videos with a bunch of numbers next to them. Now I'm gonna show you how to use that information to help you get more views and to help you get more subscribers on your channel. One of the things that you're gonna see here next to the view count, next to the actual comments, likes, all that stuff, you're gonna see a round green icon and you're gonna see 18.9% engagement rate. Now what that's saying is basically for every person that views your video, for every X amount of people that view your video, X amount of people actually engage in some way with your content. So when I see that and then I scroll down and I see another one here that has a 12.6, one underneath that has a 12.0. So what I have to do is I have to look at these two videos and I have to say, okay, what is it that I did not do in these videos that I did do in the other one? Was it topical? Was it because the topic that I was speaking about? Was it because of how I structured my call to action in the video, telling people to like things, telling people how to comment and things like that? You can actually use that information there to compare videos and say, okay, this one's low, this one's high. Then you can see that information at a glance so that you can can compare videos and try to investigate and figure out why people are responding to your content the way that they are. Now, once you click into a video, a really cool thing about the video analytics panel is you can see your total view count, you can see your views per hour, and you can also see your view to subscribe ratio. This is where this thing gets even more awesome because instead of having to calculate this and figure it out the hard way, you can see at a glance your view to subscribe ratio, which basically means the amount of people that are watching your video versus the amount of people that are actually subscribed subscribing to your content. So how you can use this to grow your subscriber base is you can say, okay, well in this particular video, what did I do? What did I say? How did I structure the video? What was the pacing of the video? What music did I use in this video? Why? did people subscribe to this video more than others? Was I giving something away? Was it just about the particular topic itself? But basically what this does is this gives you the data. This gives you the information that you can lean on that you can compare against other videos so that you can try to figure out why one video performs better than the other video. Also on this page, you also get the engagement rate, the like ratio and all of that stuff as well, which is also very cool to see at a glance. Um, if you click on the tag icon up there at the top, you are also going to see the different tags. Now, in this case, I'm only ranking for help for small YouTubers and help for small YouTube channels, but I'm also able, if I want to, I can have TubeBuddy suggest more tags. Um, I can add tags, delete tags, things like that, which is also extremely valuable. Now, in addition to this, we also have the megaphone. If you click on that, that's gonna allow you to copy your video URL, title tags, things like that. Now, in addition to those things, we also have the comment tab right here where we can answer comments. We also have the trophies tab. Now, what, what's cool here is if you don't know this already, TubeBuddy will actually give you milestones based on the, your subscriber that you get based on the views that you get, the things that we always focus on, right? They give you milestones and they also come with certificates that you can download and share on super social media, or you can just keep them on your hard drive as a reminder of where you were in this particular day and time with your channel. Now, another one that is extremely important, if you look on the far right, you're gonna see that little world tab. If we click on that, this is really important because you are a YouTuber, you're a content creator, it's important that you stay up with what's going on. I know it's probably why you're watching my videos sometimes and things like that, but it's really important that you stay up with what is actually happening in the world of YouTube, in the world of video in general as all of this stuff expands. So in this particular case, having this tab on here and being able to see at a glance different news resources that are talking about video and talking about YouTube all of the time will help you stay on the curve, so to speak, of what's actually happening so you don't get caught unguarded when there's big changes happening on YouTube or in the video world as a whole. 
Now, if I go to this Tag Explorer option, this is really cool as well. What this does, if I come up here and I click on this, let's say that I put in YouTube tips. What's going to happen is TubeBuddy, just like in the browser side, they're going to suggest to me related things, right? And they're also gonna tell me the competition for this is very high. They're gonna say that the search volume is high and so on. So what this is doing is this is saying, hey, these are other things that you might wanna think about, other things that you might wanna make sure that you add to your video tags so that you can either come up and suggest or to help you come up and search. Now, this is another thing right here that is very helpful for growing your channel, getting more views and things like that if you're not doing it already. If you click on this autocomplete option right here, this is going to show you around the tag that you chose the way that people are actually searching for that specific tag. So what this does is this helps you increase your discoverability on YouTube by making sure that you're using these things in your titles so that people can actually find you. Now, when I click on this, I also have the topic planner which is another thing that is really cool. So with this, basically you can just plan topics on the go. So you have all of this stuff that the TubeBuddy app is doing for you already. With this, this is gonna save you time and this is gonna just make everything easy for you because you can just come in here and then you can plan out whatever videos it is that you wanna plan out. So in this case, I can click in here, I can add any details that I want in terms of any B-roll that I might need or any bullet points that I wanna make sure that I cover. I have all of that taken care of now inside of one app. So I don't have to use a bunch of other stuff in order to keep track of this stuff. Now there's also the canned responses option, which is really cool. Basically, if you have a bunch of comments that are similar that you're always answering, if you're linking to playlists and things like that, you can basically build that into a canned response for when you reply to comments. And they also have tag lists as well. With that, that's something that I'm not currently using since I installed the app today, but basically what it is, is it lets you keep a collection of the different tags that you're using, the different tags that you're working on so that you can make sure that you're using the right stuff when you need it. And you can do, again, you can do this on the go instead of having to be in front of your computer to do it. Now, now, if you are not familiar with TubeBuddy yet and you're impressed by that, make sure that you also check out the videos that I have here about the browser plugin so that you can also be on board with that for when you are in front of a computer because that has even more tools that you can use to grow your YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.